Greetings and welcome, Sweeney Dunstan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to craft and use the Respawn Anchor in Minecraft Java Edition. So if you enjoy learning about Minecraft, subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss another video. We have had a bit of a change of scenery for today's video because the block that we're working with does not work in the overworld or the end. Very much like a bed, if you place this thing down in the end or in the overworld, it will explode if you try to sleep in it. So let's get on with it and learn some more about it. The respawn anchor was added in Minecraft version 1.16, the nether update. And as we see, it has an obsidian feel about it. And if we place a block on the top, we have to hold shift. Same thing if we're going to place one on the sides. As always, we have a lever on the side of a block with a repeater leading into the anchor as well as coming out into this piston over here. Also going to see if we can push this thing with the piston. So we flip the lever and we do get a signal going through it but we cannot push it with a piston. Same thing over here. We can put a signal through the top here, just like that. The respawn anchor can also be used as a light source, but that is only if you have glowstone inside of it. And it does work on different light levels. What I mean is we have a block light of zero when it's empty. However, when we place in the first one, we get a block light level of two. If we place in a second one, we now have a block light level of six. With the third one, we have 10. And with the last one, we have a total block light level of 14. So use that as you will. Just remember not to hit that with your empty hand in the overworld or the end. Another thing that changes as you add the glowstone is the output. The redstone output is none, of course, when it's empty. With the first one, you get a signal pulse of four. And the same thing as you go along. All the way up until you hit the last one, which is a strongest signal of 16. I've jumped over into the end to prove something here, and that's because we have the void, no other spawnable blocks around. These things are spawnable blocks, so make sure that this thing is lit up if you're using it for some kind of dark room or something of that nature. But whatever you do in the end and in the overworld, do not fill this thing up and then press the button on it, because, yeah, bad things happen. And it is the same thing in the overworld, except you get a bigger bang, it seems like. And the total distance that this explosion is 11 by 11 blocks. Keep that in mind. Stronger than TNT. Now we're in a dark room and we're going to walk up just like always and check and see if this is a solid block or a transparent block. As we see, it does have some solid block properties. However, it is transparent because we still get a block light level of 12 when placing it in front of a lamp. You will need some crying obsidian to craft the respawn anchor, and I'll be showing you how to acquire the crying obsidian in a new video. Jeez, finally, we're going to learn how to craft this stupid thing. All right, so you're going to need three glowstone and six crying obsidian. We're going to place three of these on the bottom and three crying obsidian across the top, and then our three glowstone across the center. And we get our respawn anchor. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and click that notification bell so YouTube lets you know when the next video comes out. But until next time, I am Sweeney Dunstan, and I'm out of here. Stay positive, my friend.